that's right guys you saw the thumbnail on the title right I've, I've just been on a splurge knocking off some stuff on the want list that's been on the want list for a little while some newer stuff that's piqued my interest not necessarily new fragrances but new to piquing my interest anyways these all came from ebay from a few different sellers and I know the last haul video was super long, and I do appreciate all of you that actually said you did enjoy the longer videos. I can't guarantee how long this one will be, but let's try to jump into this one and try to make it as short as we can anyways. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, I'd like to formally blame this purchase on Joy Amin. Shout out to you, Joy. I happened to see his review a couple weeks back on this. This is Armoff Aura Fresh. It's supposed to be basically Eau de Parfum Versace Mano Fresh. I did get this one in a few days ago. I did, at the recording of this, wear this out the shower last night. I did wear it to the gym this morning, and it will be my scent of the day. I just have waited to refresh since uh, all these other ones came in, I wanted to do the video. So similar color scheme, uh, it's arm off. It is a magnetic cap, but it is a weaker magnetic cap. And I can tell you guys just, I will be doing a full review in a few more days on this one. It is indeed a slightly richer, even slightly I, at, at minimum on par with Versace Mano Fresh's quality, kind of a little bit better in the dry down, honestly, as far as quality is concerned. But, it's not super loud at first it is but because of that bright citrus beautiful fragrance it really is has the star fruit that bitter tart star fruit smell and everything that sour sour star fruit actually and it's got the muskiness it's got the spice it's pretty accurate to versace mano fresh but so far just in the preliminaries I'm getting like eight to nine hours before it fades away on my skin. So it is performing better in longevity on my skin. I paid 40 bucks for this. You can get 100 mLs around 40 bucks of Versace Mano Fresh. So why get the clone? Well, Joy sold me on it. <laughs> like I said, that's why I'd like to blame this purchase on Joy. Um, and like I said, the pl I went into it hoping, can I get a longer lasting Versace Mano Fresh that smells pretty much exactly like it, just lasts longer. And so far, so good so if that interests you stay tuned for my full review in a few more days from the recording of this but this is arm off or a fresh and as far as the rest of these fragrances i went ahead and pulled them all out of their boxes so we can kind of save some time here and one that i've been wanting to check off the list for quite some time now is mercedes-benz club fresh yeah one you don't see too many people talk about it's not available all over the place it's not something you see everywhere from what I understand, it's supposed to be kind of in the realm of your, you know, Dolce & Bona light blues and stuff like that. So give it two good sprays. Sparkly, fresh and watery. A little bit of citrus hit up top, like a, I want to say grapefruit. I could be wrong here. I want to say a grapefruit. It's a little type of tart. Maybe like some grapefruit orange combo. There's a clean fabric softener type of smell to this. Kind of reminds me of something very specific, honestly. Mancera Soleil d'Italy. Not exactly the same, but it made me think of it right away. It's right here on my rotation table because I just wore it in the past week. But this stuff is Super easy going, laid back, casual day type of scent. Vacation fragrance. This is laid back, short sleeve button up with a few buttons down. This is very smooth, almost a little soapy, but doesn't smell like it has a lot of lavender, if that is lavender that I'm smelling, but it's a little soapy clean. That's why I kind of said fabric softener more than soap and shower gel. There's a little bit of a fresh spice tone kind of hiding in the backdrop. 
easygoing stuff, super inoffensive, nothing mold breaking here, but it reminds me of the vibe of light blue, but it doesn't smell like light blue. Light blue's got incense, it's peppery, all that. I, I don't think it smells exactly, at least on paper, it doesn't smell exactly like that, but it definitely has a similar vibe to it for sure. Super easy going, yeah, I like this stuff. It's about what I expected it to be, Mercedes-Benz Club Fresh. Next is this gorgeous bottle, Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. So it's in the VIP Club bottle, but it's in the Club line. I know it's a little, can be a little confusing, but this is a gorgeous tone of blue. Very, very heavy. Oh yeah, this is nice. Some solid heft to the cap. Let's give it a couple of sprays. Ooh, really good atomizer. Ooh, okay, this is, right off the bat, I can tell you right now, I like this more than Club Fresh. This is more effervescent and kind of a sweet citrus smell. Kind of, I'm thinking sweet orange when I smell this. This is really nice. And I, I remember, I'm pretty confident there is lavender in here, but it doesn't come across as really soapy. It definitely has a strong aromatic brightness to the fragrance. But a bit of a sweet orange. This is a little bit thicker and more dense of a smell than I expected. I was expecting along the lines of maybe kind of like what Mercedes-Benz Club Fresh had with a similar freshness, but this is definitely a thicker smell. It doesn't remind me of anything specifically, but at the same time, it doesn't smell super unique. But damn, this smells really nice. This smells really nice. I like this more than Mercedes-Benz Club Fresh, for sure. And look, it was like 36 bucks or something. I paid 49, by the way, for Mercedes-Benz Club Fresh. Everything in this video is under 50 bucks, everything. Most much lower than 50 bucks. Like this one's like, I think 36. And that's kind of going rate for where you can find it from different places that have it online. It's somewhere in the 30s. Nobody really talks about it. I don't see any scent of the day post. This thing doesn't really get any love. And it's intrigued me for some time. I'm glad to add this to the collection. Yes, sweet orange is what it smells like on the paper to me. Clean, fresh, versatile, another casual, nothing serious fragrance, but not playful either. Just a nice, versatile fragrance, a do-it-all. I wouldn't want to wear this to dinner, and I wouldn't want to wear it necessarily in cold weather, though I think this is one of those fresh fragrances that you can wear in the cold weather based on that light, sweet fruit, sweet citrus to it. This is really nice, really nice. Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. Now, I did grab a few new D David Beckham fragrances because you see right over... Right over here is the other David Beckham fragrances that I got from the two-pack. Made me want to grab some more, so this note breakdown seemed right up my alley with David Beckham Instinct Sport. And this orange looks freaking cool, too. Magnetic cap. Black atomizer with the orange spray. Man, I have high hopes. I don't remember the notes exactly. I want to say it's like citrus, something watery, some woods. Solid atomizer. And then... Gotta love the magnetic. Ooh, I was saying, gotta love the magnetic caps, but this smells really good. This is familiar. I can tell you right now, it smells better than both the Mercedes fragrances. Very watery and bright, uplifting, super, super fresh but very, very watery. It's aquatic, but not marine, not salty sea breeze. Poolside type of smell. Poolside watery aquatic smell. I can't tell what the citrus medley is going on. This is super nice. And look, I think I paid like 13 bucks for this 50 ml. Crazy cheap. Doesn't smell chemically synthetic. This is popping off of this paper. I am shocked. These David Beck Beckham fragrances continue to impress me. It reminds me of something specific and I can't think of what it is. It'll come to me. I'm gonna do a full review on all of these 
in the coming weeks and months. I got a lot of fragr a lot of new fragrances that I've gotten recently, specifically to do a bunch of individual reviews. Stuff I've been wanting to get. This is stuff that I recently decided I wanted to get because I liked the other two David Beckham fragrances I got so much. And this note breakdown appealed to me, and of course the bottle looks incredible. This room, I can't figure out what it is it reminds me of, but I know this scent profile. There's something very specific and distinctive it smells like. But this is a gorgeous, fresh, fresh aquatic. This is more of an aquatic than a sport fragrance. Damn, this is nice. This is my favorite scent so far. Go figure. The cheapest one in the video. David Beckham Instinct Sport. Speaking of David Beckham, we got David Beckham Classic Blue. If I can get it to focus, there we go. So there's a lot of texturing to the bottle for grip. It's heavy. It's a 90 ml, so this is a bigger one. And I want to say it was a couple dollars more than Instinct Sport because it's more fragrance. Cap has a brush to anodize finish. Holds pretty strong into place. Blue atomizer. I want to say this one was like a citruses, lavender. Like nothing super unique. Let's see. Soapy shower gel scent. This is a shower gel scent. Smells like a big lavender bomb. It does. A lot of lavender here. There's some fruitiness, but not sweet fruity. It's a mouth-watering type of smell. But I have to say, this is a generic shower gel scent. It is. It smells like I've... It's, it's something that it seems like I've smelled a bunch of times. Like, not Nautica Voyage. Like, that's a bad example. Because I don't get a bunch of green apple or anything like that. But it's that generic shower gel smell. Now, it doesn't smell, again, doesn't smell chemically synthetic. It doesn't smell super cheap. doesn't smell expensive either. But this is the kind of thing I like to wear out the shower and wear to the gym. Inoffensive, soapy clean type of smell. That's my jam for out the shower and going to the gym. That's probably exactly what I'm going to do with this fragrance. Yeah, like I said, it smells like it's been done to death. It's one of those done to death profiles some may deem boring, but if you don't have a lot of these soapy shower gel scents, this ain't bad. And it's well under 20 bucks for 90 ml. A eh, little boring, for sure. Not going to sit here and act like it's amazing. Instinct Sport is amazing. Not bad, just not great. It's okay. David Beckham Classic Blue. The last two are probably the two most of you want to see my opinion on. Afnan. Supremacy Silver. I've procrastinated getting this for a very long time. Um, I don't recall if this is supposed to be really fruity or really smoky. I would love for it to be really smoky. That would just be fantastic. I like the bottle design for sure. That's definitely Aventus. It smells like an apple heavy take on Aventus in the air. Oh yeah, big dose of crisp. Just took a bite out of green apple. And pineapple. Definitely get plenty of pineapple. Not really all that smoky. Not much black currant. Little bit, little little tart type of fruitiness, but not much. More fresh and crisp apple, really. Pineapple's providing a little bit of a juicy feel to it. There's a little smokiness in the backdrop, but it's not really smoky. Now on skin, it might be really smoky. Again, the, they fall flat on the paper sometimes, a lot of the times, honestly. The real story is going to be when I spray it on skin, and I'm going to do a full review on this. This definitely is smoother and not as chemically synthetic as Club de Nuit Intense Man, but it also, I don't think the lemon's in here either. That lemon's distinctive, that harsh chemical lemon smell is distinctive to Club de Nuit Intense Man, which I actually don't mind, but it's a super smoky smell, a venta smell. I might have to do a battle between the two after I do a full review on this one. It'd probably be a good video. You guys want to see that, which one I prefer? Let me know in the comments, but... Yeah, this is more of a fresh, fruity batch of Aventus. A little musky. Definitely getting a little musky. I don't get any of the florals. And it's not very smoky. It's more fruity, fresh, and musky. 
Not too shabby. Doesn't smell super cheap. And I think I paid like 28 bucks for this. I mean, you can get it cheap. Not too shabby, though. I like it. Add it to the billion other Aventus smelling fragrances I have. But this one, this one's popular. You know, this one's very, very popular. And I can kind of smell why on the paper, but I'm sure it'll be even better on skin. Afnan Supremacy Silver. The one I'm most curious about, um, I, I don't recall ever smelling Creed Millicene Imperial. I don't know if I've ever smelled that one. I've sampled, at minimum sampled, about a dozen different Creed fragrances, maybe a little bit more than that, but I don't think Millicene Imperial's ever been one of them. We're talking about Club de Nuit Milestone here. Um, I do have Ed Hardy Love and Luck. That was a signature scent of mine for a long time. Sean John Unforgivable. Nah, they don't really smell too much alike one another, but supposedly both are like Millicene Imperial. So let's see if it reminds me of the two I have. That definitely smells, kind of has that slightly fresh and soapy cleanliness. Smells like a little bit of a juniper gin kind of smell. I don't know if that's in here or not, but that's what it reminds me of. Very aromatic, very aromatic. Citruses, very fresh, a little creamy in the backdrop, a little bit of an herbal spice, but still fresh, Not, nothing warm. It does remind me of Love and Luck and of Sean, like almost a little bit on paper, a little bit more of Sean John Unforgivable than it does Ed Hardy Love and Luck. On skin, with all these fresh notes, I'm sure it'll open up more. This is going to be one of the first reviews I'm going to do, probably, of these. It doesn't smell super, you know, chemical or anything like that. It smells like a solid quality. Like, I was expecting chemical because Club de Nuit Intense Man is the only other Club de Nuit fragrance I have. So I just go off of that. This is really, really nice. I almost bought Siage, but I've got so many fragrances that I don't even wear that smell like Silver Mountain Water that I kind of held off on it. Maybe I'll get it eventually, but this is the one that piqued my interest because I don't have a bunch of fragrances that smell like Millicene Imperial, just really two. And one used to be my signature scent for, for a quite, quite a good while. This does remind me of both of them, but this actually smells better and of higher quality than Unforgivable. Sean John, Unforgivable, Unforgiven, Unforgivable, whichever, Unforgive, I don't know, I forgot. And uh, Ed Hardy, Love and Luck. This definitely smells a bit higher quality. I like this. I like this. I think paid like 36 Another one, cheap. I'm sure it's going to perform. My moths tend to perform. I like this. This is really nice. So stay tuned for a full review on this one. This will be one of the first I do. Club Day Nuit Intense Milestone. Well, that is the seven fragrances I have in this haul that I picked up from eBay. Um, actually, go ahead and we'll do five sprays, you know. Go ahead and do my refresh for the day. Uh, this I'll be reviewing in a few more days. I've been digging the hell out of this. And like I said before, I've been getting the longevity. So uh, yeah, for 40 bucks, I'm glad I bought this instead of a bigger bottle of Versace Mano Fresh because I have been wearing Mano Fresh more to the gym lately. <sighs> so good. <laughs> so good. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What in this video have you tried, do you own, or what piqued your interest? Like I said, very quick run through. I wanted this to be a lot quicker than the last haul video because the last haul video was 47 minutes long. That's why I didn't want to sit in front of the computer to where I could compare notes. And I wanted to get everything out the boxes and try to cut down the time kind of as much as I could and make this a little bit, a little bit smoother and quicker for you guys with my genuine first impressions without looking at any note breakdowns to, to reference uh, after the fact. Just here's what it smells like to me on paper. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm pretty excited to have all of these. Um, let me know down below what you think about any of these that you do have. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these seven and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.